Tonight, I'm following through with a local church on Euclid Avenue. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places, but it needs serious fixing up. Now the historic church, also known as Greenstone Church, is inching closer to starting phase two of its renovation effort. Here's an inside look at the progress and next steps. In the middle of Cleveland Clinic's skyscrapers sits a piece of the city's history. East Mount Zion Baptist Church is a Cleveland gem. Not only was it once located on Cleveland's Millionaire's Row, it was also the first black-owned church on Euclid Avenue. Well, we've actually had held services where Dr. Martin Luther King's father has preached in here, where Carl Stokes' campaign was ran in this space. Pastor Brian Cash was the visionary who in 2020 decided the church would stay on Euclid and, in his words, not turn into a parking lot. And I'll never forget uh, being in that space by myself and hearing the voice of God saying, you have to stay. So the church stayed. Cash says to stand as a pillar of hope to the community and for those undergoing medical treatment at the Cleveland Clinic. That's when the restoration effort of the over 100 year old building launched. The first phase was mainly preliminary work. Now the church is getting closer to phase two. Now we're ready to move into preservation. Um, we have to replace our roof. First is first phase, replace the roof, then we replace the stone, and then we do some interior uh, reimagination. Even this beautiful organ, which is unusable now, will eventually be restored. Part of the restoration project for us is to be able to uh, have real pipe organs uh, and pipes in this sanctuary, and during the week we'll be able to provide concerts, uh, be able to invite people in uh, and enjoy uh, the music. While the second phase won't be easy or cheap, Restoration Committee Chair Ruth Price Rollins says the experience has been rewarding. I have been a member here for over 40 some years and uh, to see this place as it was and as it is and the needs that um, are necessary for it to be restored. It's amazing to be a part of it. Phase two will cost millions, but Cash says they are about halfway to their goal. He hopes to have the entire project complete in the next five years. I really see this project as a just not a East Mount Zion project, but a really true community Cleveland worldwide a collaborative project because people see the significance of not only historic space, they see, they see the significance of having a space of hope and healing. East Mountain Zion Baptist Church is also teaming up with the Sismonian to help preserve Cleveland black history. I highlighted that effort in February. To find that story in this new one, you can visit news5cleveland.com.